What's up YouTube friends? Welcome back to my channel. I hope all of y'all are enjoying this fall transition that we're all supposed to be going through. Now, my little area of the world still hasn't gotten the memo that it's supposed to be happening. So if you are seeing the changing of colors, you know, the nice cool weather, I'm a little bit envious, but that's a whole nother thing. Now, I know why all y'all are here and I'm about to jump into the next reaction video. Now, I don't know what it is, but I'm super excited. So let's see how this goes. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Fred Williams! <laughs> okay, so this one's new. Eddie's very excited, I like it. I like the excitement. <laughs> Hell yeah, you guys are happy! You guys are psyched! <laughs> of course you're happy! You know right now your story beats any one of your friends, no matter what the hell they're doing tonight. <laughs> They'll call you up tomorrow. Should have hung out with us, man. We went out to a strip club. They had a one arm stripper. She had a cartwheel. It was ridiculous. <laughs> what kind of lame shit did you do? Oompa Loompa made me laugh. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think they're kind of equal. Exactly. You're happy, but of course you're happy. You've got a little person in front of you right now. People are always happy when they see midgets. You can't help it. A lot of you don't know who I am, don't know what TV shows I've been on, but I walk on stage, you're like, this is gonna be good. <laughs> you see a midget, you're happy. You can't help it. No one's ever seen a midget and yelled out, well, now my day has gone to hell. That is not <laughs> You see this, you're smiling, you're laughing, you know it's a good shot, you got a parade and some candy coming your way. You're happy as hell. <laughs> Doesn't matter, you can get fired from your job, find out your wife uh, is blowing some other dude. You walk down the street, you no. see me, you're just... <laughs> <laughs> That's why we are not using midgets properly in this country. <laughs> We have normal jobs. We should not have normal jobs. They should be giving midgets to cancer patients. How awesome would that be? Sorry, sir, I discovered you have cancer. Damn it, here's your midget. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> He did that super intense. Like, the side of his head was, like, bulging out there. <laughs> yeah. A lot of you didn't like that joke at first. Then I finished it, you're like, we, we will absolutely support that charity. We will support that. We should do a 5K. We should do a 5K. They're dwarves. We should do a 2.5K. We should do a 2.5K. Ah, uh, damn. <laughs> and that's true. I do make people happier. I did a show one time. A woman came up to me after the show and said, Brad. You're funny. I run a children's hospital. I would love it if you came down to the children's hospital, entertained the children, brought them some smiles. I said, yes, that's perfect. I mean, hell, you guys have known me now for a few minutes, and you know my act is perfect for the fucking kids. I don't know about children's that. Hospital. But... I'm exaggerating nothing. I walk into that door. A kid walks up to me, puts his hand on my shoulder, and goes, don't worry, they'll fix you here. <laughs> Oh, they're honest, though. Karate chop the city. Okay? <laughs> to do that. No, you're... You? I'm there on my Saturday giving up my free time to help him. He's got to piss on my self-esteem. <laughs> and it happened over and over again. I was walking around the hospital. There would be all these kids <laughs> walking around, dragging their oxygen tanks behind them like that. Then they would look up and see me and go, Jesus, glad I don't have that. Oh, my God, that would suck. Oh, no. oh man. <laughs> I understand. I understand why people are excited when they see a little person. I totally get it because when I'm walking around and I see another little person, I get excited too. <laughs> I do. Then you guys, the two of us, you get ridiculously excited. <laughs> oh my God, there's two! I hope they do a trick. I, I really hope they do a trick. <laughs> another little person i'm not thinking about this constantly it's not always on my mind i don't walk around all day in my head just i'm a midget i'm a midget i'm a midget oh i know if your life had a dbr you would go 30 <laughs> seconds back right there i'm a midget i'm a midget i'm a midget So, uh, 
and, and when I'm walking around and I see a little person, I get happy. Now, if the other dwarf I see is a male, if I see a male little person, I get excited, but at the same time, I know I have to fight him. <laughs> I don't want to fight him. He doesn't want to fight me. But we lock eyes. We're like, <laughs> why? Maybe dwarves are like Highlanders. Like there can be only one. <laughs> now, if I'm walking around and I see another little person, and it happens to be a female, if I see a female little person, I get excited. You guys get quiet. <laughs> you see two little people come together. You're just like, oh my god. <laughs> This is like National Geographic Channel coming oh. up. Shh, don't <laughs> hear him. It's his mating season. <laughs> now, you would think that that might offend me. It does not offend me. I'm going to fuck that female little person, okay? <laughs> it's happening. When it comes to dwarf pussy, I am a Dyson vacuum. I don't miss a damn thing. Oh, dang, this guy. It's happening. Oh, man. But Brad, she's a woman. She has a choice. What if she doesn't want to sleep with you? Are you kidding me? I'm in the top five midgets in show business. She's fucking me, okay? <laughs> it's happening. I'm top five. <laughs> number one, I don't have delusions of grandeur, okay? I know where I am, all right? Number one, Peter Dinklage from Game of Thrones. I love that, too. Yeah, awesome. That guy's good. His acting is awesome. Number two is this guy named Wee Man from Jackass. He's pretty cool. Some of you know who he is. Some of you are just now realizing that I am not Wee Man from Jackass. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Number three is a guy named Warwick Davis. He was in a movie called Willow, an HBO show called Life is Short. I, I know who he is. Number four, <laughs> that's me. Uh, <laughs> Number five is the chick. Damn it, what the hell is the chick's name? <laughs> no, the chick's name. Oh, yeah, Justin Bieber. Oh. Um. That, that is a hot bitch. I want to be bad. Oh, man, this guy. Cute. <laughs> Obviously, that's a joke. Uh, I said that one night at a comedy club in Hollywood, California. I didn't know this. Bieber was in the audience that night, and he did not like that. <laughs> He did not like it. He walked up to me after the show. He's like, you're a son of a bitch, eh? That was not very nice of you to say to me. <laughs> I love that that's a true story. Okay, so I really enjoyed this video. Brad Williams was hilarious. I mean, I don't really know what he was in before this, but his comedy is awesome, and he's got so much energy. Honestly, with his little size, I have no idea where he keeps it all because I don't even have that much energy. But I loved it here, and the fact that, you know, he's taking details about himself and he's putting it in his comedy and he just, you know, runs with it, it's just really cool when they do that because it just makes everything so much more comfortable and you're just enjoying yourself. You don't have to worry about feeling bad about laughing about certain things. And I think right now, in today's, you know, format, it's really important to be able to laugh about yourself and just kind of enjoy what you got going on. Because, I mean, it, it's tough right now, and this guy makes everything funny, and I just really enjoyed it. I thought this video was awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. Also, make sure to hit that little notification button. That way, you guys know when I drop my next video. And if you get the chance, check out my Twitch stream on Wednesdays and Fridays. Just check my page for the times. Well, thanks for joining me here today, everybody. Stay spicy, my friends.